think it really depends on the circumstance. This is super general, and it really, really could depend on what the person is asking about. Um, sometimes people ask me this when they have a specific du'a that they've been making for a very long time, and they're wondering if the fact that it's not being answered means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just doesn't want to give it to you for whatever reason. Maybe it's not good for you. Maybe it's not good for your akhirah. Um, and so this is where they're asking that question from. I'm going to answer it from that perspective because there's no other context, and that's the the one I'm asked most. Um, but number one, recognizing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you so much that he always decrees what is best for you. Even if in that moment it doesn't feel like it's the best thing. And I'll give you the example of somebody who, um, you know, wants to get married. I get this question all the time. Wants to get married, wants to get married. It's been like 10 years they've been making dua. It's been 15 years they've been looking and they're just looking and looking and now they're wondering, should they just give up? Should they just stop? Now they're in their mid-30s. They've been looking since they were like 20. Um, and they're wondering whether or not Allah has willed marriage for them. And whenever someone asks me this question, I always ask them, do they want to get married? Is it something they want? And if the answer is yes, they actually want it. It's not something that they feel pressured into. It's not something that their parents are, you know, begging for them to do. It's something they've been open to and they've really sincerely been trying. Then I suggest that they keep asking and they keep making istikhara about, other, you know, any opportunities or anything that might open because you never know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills for you. You will never lose with du'a. So if it means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has willed that marriage is not the best for this person, then maybe he's going to open a different door. But while you're making dua for marriage, you say, if it's best for me, open this door. If it's best for me, facilitate it. If it's best for me, give me better than I can ask for. And in the process, if it's not best for you, then Allah will give you something better. He absolutely will. You literally cannot lose with dua. Either he will avert some evil from your life. May Allah protect everybody and everyone everyone we love, Ya Rab. Or he will give it in the hereafter. Or he will give something better than you can imagine while you're making that dua. Or he will delay it for a better time. He'll give something different. You can't lose with dua. So the first thing is just keep making the dua with the clause. If it's best for me. If it's not, then take it away from me and bring me something better. And the secondly, after that, what actions are you taking or not taking? I know I'm giving the marriage example, so I'm sorry if your question was about something totally unrelated. Um, but a lot of people I know are only open to marrying someone of their specific race or of their specific state. They don't want to move out of state. Um, they have to marry someone who has the same type of career background or a specific type of income level. Um, those are fine. It's fine to have those general you know, interests, but that's going to close the opportunities for a person who's looking. So what do what does the person looking and at making dua for also need to do to open kind of like those doors? Maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending someone over and over and because of specific requirements that they're just closing that door over and over themselves. So constantly make istikhara, keep your you know your your options open um, and always you know make dua but also in the process please you know I'm really big on this I always talk about Maristan to everyone and their mom Please go to therapy, you know, it, uh, contact Maristan. Sometimes the reasons why people are saying no to individuals is actually not because of the other person, but because of something they need to work through. So going through therapy and navigating that is really important so that inshallah you are at a place where you can sincerely consider who might actually be good for you. So maybe it hasn't happened yet because you're not at the right space yet. Only Allah knows. I don't know. I'm told, I have no, no idea. Um, and maybe it's not meant. It's not meant for every person. And that is why we have so many examples in our history of women and men who did not marry, but who were scholars, who were du'ats, who were so involved in Islam. They could travel. They could do so much more because they didn't have the responsibility of family in and, and this particular way. So only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. And may Allah bless every single one of you and everyone that you love with the best. Ya Rabbul Allah.